name your layers, but because it's just uh, sorry, just a tutorial, I'm not going to. And now, just to make this stand out, I'm gonna click. Uh, we'll make it orange or something. I don't know. Just so that the textures can stand out. Um, Okay, now render. I'm just going to make it cloudy, sort of. Um, you can see it's sort of cloudy. Um, now, basically, you can just erase the stuff you don't need. I would, because it maximizes uh, everything, but this is just a I want. Um, so that's uh, just what it's going to look like now. Uh, if you redo this correctly, you should add in some highlights, and also you should add in uh, shading. Um, sorry, some shading and some highlights. Whoops. Um. Anyway, that's not really important. Uh, so add in some random scratches and stuff here. Okay, um, so next what we're going to do is you should save it as a PSD or your photo editing um, <coughs> software uh, file. But because uh, I don't really, I'm not going to edit my notes here. So after you've done that, go save as and save it as a BMP file. Um, here it is. And save it as. Actually, no, save it as knife underscore. Actually, no, no, save it as pipe. Sorry, guys. Save it as pipe. Okay. Alright. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit file. Now, it's wrong. So, we're going to go over to the layers tab, right click, and say merge visible. Now, merges it to all one layer. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go um, to Filter, NVIDIA Tool. And if you don't have this, it's the NVIDIA DDS plugin. It only works with Photoshop. If you don't have it, it's not that big of a deal. But it creates a bump map which can make it uh, look more like a metal texture. So then you're going to have normal map filter. And basically this number here, we're going to have the bumpiness. So I can go 7 and it'll make it extremely bumpy. Um, then you said OK. And file, save as, um, pipe underscore bump. Okay. Now that's it for Photoshop. Uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to open our BTF edit. And we are going to import. The files that we made, the pipe file here. Okay. And we're going to file, save as, and we're going to save as the pipe. Okay. And next we're going to import the other one, the pipe is going to Okay. So file, um, save as, and pipe is going to Alright. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, VMT file. And the VMT file, I'm going to zoom in right here. The VMT file is telling it where to go. Uh, so, it's vert okay, we're going to type vertex with generic. So, we're going to go down here, enter tab, dollar in quotation mark, dollar sign, base, capital T, texture. Quotation mark space quotation mark models slash weapons slash v underscore models slash and this is where the file you're going to save it is. So because it's just this, I'm going to save it as uh, pipe. Uh, and then our well, our name for that VTF is pipe. And so you have to put in your uh, <coughs> your uh, VTF name. Now hit enter and tab again and quotation mark dollar sign pump map no capitals quotation mark space quotation mark models slash weapon should be in the same folder slash v underscore models slash pipe slash pipe underscore pump.
Now, as I said, if you don't have the button up, don't worry about it. It's just for a higher end of skin, but uh, you don't really need it. And so don't worry about it if you don't have it. And uh, in the other tutorial, I'm also going to go into font shading, which you add in uh, under this stuff. But anyways, this is not important for this. It's a file. Save as. We're going to save it as. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do uh, is we are going to go into our milk shape. 3D, and we are going to go file, import, 3DS, and we're going to go into that folder where we saved the uh, 3DS file with the pipe. As you can see, there is the pipe, and it's been cool. Now you're going to say save as, save as the uh, MS3D, which is the 3D file. And you save it in the main part and save it as a reference. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to click new, go import Half Life 2 SMD, and then finish with TN for reference. Okay, don't change any of that. Then we're going to go file, merge, uh, we're going to go on clean here. Uh, stop. And the reference. Now, as you can see, our pipe is really big and it's way oversized. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our model tab. First, select it sorry, by going to groups and double clicking on pipe. Then go to your model and we'll scale. And you want to make sure that you always scale by the same uh, number on each of these. Or else you're going to get a, weird, a really uh, weird, un uneven design. And I usually use center of mass, which is usually the center of the actual um, the actual object. So now you just hit scale until you think you have it well enough. And then you move, and then you just sort of want to move it onto where the knife is now. Okay. All right. Now you're just gonna. Whoops. Alright, now once you think it's good enough to match up, line it up on top and make sure you have it lined up on all the views. Alright. So now that you think you have uh, everything, once you start, once you think you have everything set up properly, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your group tab. You know, sorry, first of all, you're going to go here, set select, and then hit nothing, hit no space, like hit an empty space, so that everything is deselected for your groups. Go knife underscore tanner dot bmp, which is the knife file here, and then hit delete. So this is deleting the old one, and go to your knife. Oops, sorry. Go to your knife and T on BMP and it's delete down here. So now, as you can see, we have our pipe, and as you can see here, it has no material. So this is where an important part comes in. We're going to go to our materials tab, and we're going to here, so we're going to click here with a new, and we're going to go over here with says none, and we are going to search up our BTF file, which is this one, and that would be wrong. I don't know where that came from, but I can't do it. Um, so I'm going to do Okay. Um, sorry guys, that was from a failed tutorial I tried to do, and um, it didn't work out properly, and don't worry, I fixed everything. Um, anyways, it's not important. We're going to go to our UV file here, and open up our BTF. I have to see which one is BTF. This is that's the VMT, so we're right over here. This is BTF, and there it is. So we're just gonna sign. Oh, whoops, sorry. Now go over your groups and double click on pipe. Rename material to material to to pipe, and then hit assign. So now if we go over here, we should be able to see it. You can sort of see it faintly. 